Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So we had a pretty big sell-off yesterday, um, and breaking through a couple of key levels. I think uh, the first level is the 3400 area, and uh, you can see how we're just battling to stay above that area. So I think that is something to keep in the back of your mind. If you look at price action at the moment, we are kind of in a range. Um, so for me, that's the range right now. And uh, the important part here is the following. So we've got descending trend line there, ascending trend line there, which basically brings us into a sort of a, um, a triangle formation. Now this kind of what I was expecting, but on a smaller scale going into the election. So what I was expecting is pretty much to stay above the 3400 and then sort of go into a very tight range. But anyway, um, volatility is here. The key driver here is obviously the infection rate on the virus right now, and then obviously the lack of stimulant as well. Line and sand at the moment for me is 3214 or 32. We'll, we'll tidy that up now on the higher time frames. Let's just get rid of the block. Okay, so let's get that down. We need to drop below the swing lows here and retest them on a on a three or four hour for me to be convinced that um, this is not just a, a trading range right now. So 32.13 is the line in the sand that we're watching at the moment on this. Okay, a um, couple of things. We have trend line. Oh, that's not going to be a trend line, but we do have trend line breaks. There is one right there. Um, if I ignore that one and I come to this one here, which is a little bit stronger, and bring that down, we're still sort of breaking through that trend line as well. So I'm going to delete that and let's just focus on the short term right now. Okay, so pretty strong sell off. Sorry, one thing I do want to point out here, and that's on the eight hour is um, you can see how measured it was moving down moving down pin bar measured measured and all of a sudden an acceleration to the downside that is also a sign of a, an exhaustion bar so just be careful gap is closed to the downside and you can see where the buyer stepped in right on that brooks gap there okay um <clears throat> right so just bear that in mind three r okay so I think you all know me by now, I don't short the US markets. So uh, for me, I'm looking for the opportunity to buy into this. Uh, is it in this area or is it gonna be uh, for lower down? So I do have a line in the sand down here. That is 32.13. If it breaks below that and retests, then I'll start considering uh, short term short shorts. But at the moment, this is a bit of a bounce off here. And the reason for that is uh, Asia is not down as much as what uh, the U.S. markets fell yesterday. There seems to be a little bit of um, more control from the economy on, in the Asian markets at the moment. So uh, I'm not going to read much into it. I think um, this is going to be volatile. We've got so much political noise still happening at the moment. And the one tweet can send this market in any direction. So you need to be very careful. Okay. So we are on a, I'm not going to call it a major level, but it is sort of a level on the hour. So this area where we bounced here is a 32.70. If this triangle holds, then I would expect us to bounce back up at least as a first point onto 33.63 and then the second point 34.14. Uh, again, 15 minutes is going to dictate what you need to do at the moment and you can see pretty volatile and then now we've bounced fairly hard if you look at that we're up 0.8% uh, already and that was after falling what did we fall yesterday we fell roughly from there um, we fell 3.3% yesterday so just a normal day on the markets at the moment, down three, up one. So I would be watching this level here at the moment. So let's just put a, a line in here. If this level, we can maintain this above this level of 33, oh, 3305. So I want to see a break and a retest on that. 
play by the moving average and then sort of trend up, that would be an opportunity for me and probably looking for each of these inside tails here. Okay, but between you and I, um, I'm actually going to take an extended long weekend. I'm not going to bother with the market at the moment. I'm going to wait for the elections to, to complete before I get back into the market. So for me at the moment, uh, I think this trend, this moves to the downside is done. Um, I won't be too surprised to see it pop further down, but uh, we do have a pretty big area here, 3270. I think the key as well is look at the weekly close right now. Okay, now if you look at the context in the weekly, strong move up, big consolidation. Okay, so you know, are we just gathering steam, or you know what is this, what is the situation? If you look at the monthly. Um, sellers in control at the moment on the monthly bar and it just depends how this month uh, closes off as well um, because if it does close like that I'd expect a little bit more downside possibly down into the region of um, 3041 uh, but 3000 would be a round number as well okay so that's kind of the setup that I'm seeing at the moment uh, but this volatility you see on the monthly this is here to stay for a couple of months still so if you look at the week as well, strong move up, strong move down, strong move up and into consolidation. Okay, you are above the moving average, you're above major uh, weekly support at the moment and that's pretty much down here, which is our line in the sand at 32.13. Okay, uh, break through that then, yeah, then I'll agree with everybody that we, we're looking for a deeper pullback down to probably 3,000 I'd say. Okay. But yeah, I think um, whatever you do, keep your stops really tight and uh, trade the smaller time frames. Try and keep try get entries which are good good risk to reward. Uh, don't just jump in on on big moves. Okay, so for example, I wouldn't be jumping in on shorts at the moment. I'd want to see a pullback and then start rejecting le levels and then get back on on the short. Okay, anyway, guys, I hope it helps you somewhat. Um, and uh, whatever you do, just as I say, keep those stops really tight and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.